But turning now to the latest on the coronavirus pandemic here in the coastal bend, the city county health district tonight releasing the number of new COVID cases and that number stands at 1500 as cases of the coronavirus continue to climb for all ages here in the coastal bend. And tonight we asked our Jalissa Garza to find out how children are faring when it comes to needing to be hospitalized. She spoke with leaders at Driscoll Children's Hospital and joins us now with what she found. Jalissa. Mike Leslie, the daily COVID-19 numbers continue to increase every day and cases among children are increasing too. Driscoll Children's Hospital reopened their drive through testing site and around 100 to 120 patients are stopping in at that testing site on the two days a week that they are open. And it's not just the rise in positive cases that's concerning, it's also hospitalizations. But Dr. Jaime Fergie with Driscoll Children's Hospital says the numbers are not as alarming as you may think. The number of children we have at risk goal are usually, you know, between seven and nine. That's what we are seeing uh, most of the time. And you have to realize something very important. Some of those children are here with something totally, totally unrelated to COVID. Dr. Fergie says very few children are hospitalized with COVID-19. The hospital does test every child who comes to the hospital for COVID-19, no matter what reason they may be visiting. And sometimes they fi find out that a child is positive for the virus. And Dr. Fergie says that's what they call incidental findings. Coming up tonight on 3 News at 6, we'll hear more from Dr. Fergie about what these incidental findings mean for Driscoll Children's Hospital and their resources. Mike, Leslie. All right, thanks for that, Julissa.